and we're back. We got everything we can from Lada. So now let's take Gumshoe up on his offer and go back to criminal affairs. Hotel lobby. And criminal affairs. See if we can get some more info from Gumshoe. He's back. Hey, Gumshoe. There's nothing to be friendly or happy about? That's not good. Things look perfect this time around. The evidence and testimony are airtight. <coughs> Aww. That's not good. There's two big pieces of evidence, eh? Both are in this photo. Can we has photo? First, it's the button missing from the victim's chest. Hmm. And the second one is the knife in his chest. Fingerings on the knife are on guards. You told us that already, right? <laughs> Rock in a hard place indeed. Airtight testimony? Old bag. <laughs> she saw on guard from out of the victim's room around the estimated time of death. Interesting. Now, in order to break Adrian's psych thoughts, we need to know more about this scandal, so let's show the magazine clipping to Gumshoe. That bit of gossip? Why? Two years ago, a woman committed suicide. Her name was Celeste Impacts. And she was Juan Carita's manager. That's not all, pal. Ms. Impacts was Ms. Adrian Andrews' mentor. She taught, she taught Ms. Adrian everything she knew about the business from square one. Hmm. But her suicide has something to do with this case. Yes, I do want to... I do want to know more about her, pal. Tell me. Victim's, man victim's manager, Adrian's mentor. It's been two years since her suicide, and now those two are li linked again by another death. Maybe just a... Whoa, crap. Hello, Franziska. Sick of dealing with one foolish idiot after another. the enemy. Uh, scruffy. You have 30 minutes to get... What? No. Fired. One for traitors like you. I would have won. Is that what you wanted to say? Who's that? That voice. Edgeworth! It's been a long time, right? It is Mr. Edgeworth. What am I going to do with you? Still blaming others when things go wrong. You haven't changed a bit, Francisca. You! How dare you show your face to me without a shredded shame upon it. Soiled the Von Common name and dragged it through the mud? Run away with your tail between your legs like the ill-bred dog you are. Von Karma family creed. Be perfect in every way. Let's hear it, Francisca. How are things going? I hear you're having a rough time maintaining perfection in this country. You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's why I came back. Haha, <laughs> it's worth. Oh, really? Ow. Clinical listen on the meaning of total victory. You said that the last two times. Hmm. Still the same wild mare she always was. Well, if Phoenix isn't glad to see you, I'm glad to see you, Edgeworth. Thought you, the prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, had gone and died. I never wanted to 
to see you again. Yeah, quite the warm welcome, yeah. Oh? So you're not running tomorrow's trial? Aw. Oh. Too bad. What? You can't win on your own at the trial tomorrow. Oh, really? You have something definitive that I lack? The definition of teamwork is the power to find the truth. In order to understand this case, you have to understand a certain truth. Well, if you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is available to you. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be a bit more generous with information. Awesome, Edgeworth. Just awesome. Hmm. However, Manfred von Karma was still my mentor. Yep. And a perfect win record is a proof of a, is proof of a von Karma. Well, we soiled Manfred's perfect win record. To save your ass, Edgeworth. But is that why Edgeworth left? Oh, shut up, Nick. Oh? Why do I stand in the courtroom? <sighs> eh, but... Defend my client to save their lives. Prodigy, or someone like you, Edgeworth. There's still a lot we have to learn. Indeed there is. The time when you, when you will see is coming soon enough. But for now, let's get some info from Edgeworth if we can. Like, remember, we, remember we want to know more about the scandal, the Adrian Andrews. And now the Ms. Impacts. So Andrews holds a large secret within herself. I can't help but feel like this whole case revolves around her. And now Celeste Impacts? She's, an she's another key to the case? She was Adrian Andrews' mentor a long time ago. But suddenly she was called away by a production and became Juan Carita's man manager. Then a few months later, she died. Suicide. There's one lip riddle left unsolved. Her suicide note went missing. Tell me more, Edgeworth. Please. Definitely a suicide, eh? But there's no suicide note. The police began to suspect that someone had hidden it. There was no solid evidence, however, we found traces of ink on her right index finger, which makes likelihood of a suicide note very high. So the police think that Juan Carita hid the suicide note. He was the one who found her body, which would make him the prime suspect for doing so. Interesting. I think you should look this over. This is the Suicide Report Part 1. Part 1? Wait, what? Let's have a look at this. Suicide Report. Deceased Celise Impacts, found by Juan Carita. Was her suicide note hidden? Oh, I kind of figured that, Edgeworth. You like Suicide Reports even less. First of all, the reports that have multiple parts, like that one. That has two parts. Here's the second part. It's about an attempted suicide. Attempted. The attempter's name, Adrian Andrews. Interesting. Yeah, that doesn't seem like her at all. It's just her image. She has a certain secret she's always tried to hide. Her codependency. Hmm. Well, 
we'll ask about the true nature of Adrian Andrews next time.